Now here the question is, we need to prove that x square upon y plus z plus y square upon z plus x plus z square upon x plus y is greater than or equal to x plus y plus z upon 2. Now again for this, we will assume x is greater than or equal to y, that is greater than or equal to z, then x square will be greater than or equal to y square and will be greater than or equal to z square. Now, if we look at the sum, then y plus z will be less than equal to x plus z and will be less than equal to x plus y or 1 upon y plus z will be greater than equal to 1 upon z plus x and will be greater than equal to 1 upon x plus y. Now, these two sequences they are in the same order. Then using Chebyshev's inequality, we can write x square upon y plus z plus y square upon z plus x plus z square upon x plus y whole divided by 3 will be greater than or equal to x square plus y square plus z square upon 3 into 1 by 3 and here we'll have 1 upon y plus z plus 1 upon z plus x plus 1 upon x plus y. Now this 3 and 3 will cancel. From here we can write x square upon y plus z plus y square upon z plus x plus z square upon x plus y will be greater than or equal to x square plus y square plus z square and this is 1 by 3 and here we have 1 upon y plus z plus 1 upon z plus x plus 1 upon x plus y. Now here what we need to do is we have to use nth power am formula. So we will consider three numbers y plus z, we we'll write y plus z to the power minus 1 plus z plus x to the power minus 1 plus x plus y to the power minus 1 upon 3. It will be greater than or equal to y plus z plus z plus x plus x plus y upon 3 to the power minus 1. So from here we can say this 1 upon 3, 1 upon y plus z, plus 1 upon z plus x, plus 1 upon x plus y, it will be greater than or equal to 3 upon 2 x plus y plus z. And if we substitute this result here, then we can say x square upon y plus z plus y square upon z plus x plus z square upon x plus y will be greater than or equal to x square plus y square plus z square and if we substitute this result it will be this 3 times upon 2 x plus y plus z. Now here we will use power mean inequality. Now for power mean inequality we know that m2 xyz will be greater than or equal to m1 xyz. That means x square plus y square plus z square upon 3 to the power 1 by 2 it is greater than or equal to x plus y plus z upon 3. Now if we square it we can write x square plus y square plus z square. Now 3 and 3 will cancel. So it will be this 3 upon x plus y plus z will be greater than or equal to x plus y plus z. And if we substitute this result here, then we can write this is greater than or equal to x plus y plus z upon 2. And therefore we can write 
x square upon y plus z plus y square upon z plus x plus z square upon x plus y is greater than equal to x plus y plus z whole divided by 2 which is what we need to prove in this question.